I've been planning to go to Salem, Massachusetts for a long time, but consecutively planning this month. And I've missed the mark because of my depression, and I've it's been really hard to get my shit together. So, hopefully the next time I talk to you, I will be in Massachusetts. Or New York. Really want to visit Sleepy Hollow, New York, too. So, we'll see. Don't disappoint me, past Alex or future Alex. How does that work? Future Alex. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> okay, this is probably the cleanest it's going to be for a second. So I'm going to show you guys my setup right now. This is what I'm working with. I got my cot in there. My beautiful Alice. Say hello, Alice. Hello. I got my dad. You know, that's been rough. But got my books, my backpacks, extra water, lights, cooler, my food bin, my squatty potty, whatever it is. Luggable Blue. That's the brand name. <clears throat> and then my dog's food. And then up here, I got toilet paper, first aid kits, wet wipes, and then extra blankets in the hat. Oh, I forgot to introduce. John John the Skeleton. So yeah, let's uh, rock and roll. See you guys on the road. better at this, but Ohio is very flat with a lot of farmland and very few exits. I'm on four miles of gas left. Now I got two miles to go. Let's hope we make it. Yes, found a gas station with one mile to spare. And the gas is cheaper than Michigan. Michigan's at 330 right now, around there, 308 here. That's pretty sweet. Almost didn't make it. Oh my god. <laughs> so around like, you know, 20 miles it registered, I need a gas. So I'm like, okay, next exit. The next exit was like, not close. <laughs> I've been driving on zero for like five minutes now and I was pushing it. Like, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Thank God. I found this Sheets? Shits? Who names the restaurant that? What the fuck? What the fuck, Pennsylvania? I want to know why you named something Sheets. Well, I'm going to go into Shits and eat. Tonight's camp, Walmart. Good morning, you beautiful people. Um, yeah, so I made it to Pennsylvania. And when I was driving up, I could tell that it's very hilly over here. I've never been to Pennsylvania before. But like through the shadows of the hills, I could tell it's like really nice. So I was excited for daylight and sure as shit, I found this park and it's really, really nice. Like loving Pennsylvania so far. Um, I got my book, How to Survive Camping. This is usually what I do in the morning. I read and then I just soak up the sun. But let me see. Yeah, here's my view. I love it. Alice is loving it, aren't you Alice? Soaking up the sun. You have anything to say to the crowd? Nope. Speechless. Ugh. Yeah, that's not fun. That's not gonna stay there. I'm gonna drag it up with me.
What is this place? What weird hours? I mean, it's beautiful, but what the hell? Oh, it's a flood control system. Well, damn, let's go look at it. Oops, missed that sign. Hello, little Van Gogh. Also, Pennsylvania is not only beautiful, but the roads are like winding and magical. I'm loving it here. This is really pretty. All right, y'all. I made it literally like five minutes from the dam. Here, let me turn it around. Voila. Let's go explore. <laughs> Visitors are welcome. I'm not just like walking up to this place. I checked. Come on, Nails. Oh. Damn. 285. Oh. <laughs> no wonder it's so cheap. The place is closed. I turned around for that gas. <laughs> All right. I think I changed elevation too fast. Like I'm on this road that's just straight and inclined down this hill, down this whole mountain. And it's kind of making me a little sickly. So I'm pulled off here trying to like adjust. <clears throat> Damn. I mean, I don't know. Look at this shit. Super winding. It's just straight downhill. It's like finally evening out, but it's still going downhill. I mean, look at that view. That view is amazing. But holy shit. I feel wonky. Who knew Best Buy would have a view like this? Good morning. 
Good morning, Alice. You got your little jammies on. Good morning. Uh, woke up in Cracker Barrel. There's like no Walmarts over here where I'm at in Pennsylvania. And it got real cold. It got really cold. I knew it was gonna get cold. Um, and the night before I was kind of worried about Alice because she doesn't like sleeping in my mummy bag with me because it's too, too tight. But she's so small, I didn't want her freezing. So I actually went and got her some pajamas. Good morning, you beautiful people. So today's adventure, we're going digging for some rocks. One of my fave things to do. But I found this awesome fossil pit. I've never heard of a fossil pit. Like there's the diamond crater in Arkansas, but I've never heard of anything like this. So we're gonna go check that out. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening with my camera. It's kind of funky. It's not tracking me very well today. Oh wow, look at this. Holy shit. Look at that. I did find a couple things, so let me show you guys. Turn around. All right. So, those are my tools. I found this amongst the rocks I've been using as the chisel. But I found like this. So in there, there's like a circular piece. Hopefully that's like, oh, ooh, okay. Wow. <laughs> So, that's pretty dope. Bunch of small pieces. Pieces I think something's in. This has a shell formation right here. It's pretty... It's pretty hard to see because the camera won't focus. But, yeah. Cool things. So I'm at Nesco Peck, Nesco Peak State Park. Mm -hmm. 